Yes, you guys, and welcome back to another part of the scary, spooky, doki doki literature club. What the game is just fucking with you. Uh, what we last left off, um, uh, Natsuki and Yuri was uh, fighting, and it was glitching up the background. And I picked Natsuki, 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 Natsuki again and again and again, and uh, Monica had to drag her out of the classroom because shit was happening. So, uh,. Nothing new has changed in the game files. I, I'm keeping my, keeping my eye on it. <laughs> it's probably better if you stay for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Ha ha ha. Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. Are we not gonna address what just happened with the background and shit? Are you just gonna let that slide? Are we just gonna ignore this? All the strange shit that's happening? But I never had it, uh, have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'm happy to spend time with you instead. Where, where, where is this going, Monica? You bitch. I know you're doing something. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. <gasps> she's crying. Uh oh, this is the first time she's, we're seeing her cry. What's going on? She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. Why is there still no music? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is yucking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I, I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Please, don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. Did, did she punch Natsuki or something? There's something wrong with me today. Oh yeah, there's something wrong with your programming, I guess. <laughs> it's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget about it all. <gasps> Complete- <gasps> She's gonna delete the memories of today! Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me and wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I shouldn't. I, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. Dude, Monica is gonna delete uh, Natsuki's memory today, from today. What what happened today? Cause that was um. Yeah, I can't. It kind of sounds like you don't want me to be around for something, Yuri. It's not like that. It's not like it just. I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with... Uh-oh. It would be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> I guess I don't really have much of a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble. I really appreciate- ah! Yeah, Monica didn't like that. Shopping? Oh, I'm not, I wasn't picking the... Shiny? Let's still go for Natsuki here. And... Doki Doki. Oop. Silly. Scars. Oh, there we go. Peace. Milk. Romance. Heart. How we... Oh, skirt. Mouse. Alone. Oh, anime. Yeah. Comfort. Cute. Lucky. Dude, that scared me. <sighs> I was like watching YouTube to calm myself down. Now I'm back up to the... <gasps> Did something change in the files? Um, no, I'm not seeing any change. What about characters? Okay, Natsuki's still there. Nothing has changed. Aura. Party. Raindrops. Oh. Well, I scored most points with uh, Natsuki. I know they pass it. It's time for the club meeting already. What? You see the <laughs> background? It's Sayuri hanging. Wait. Why did you post that there? What else is there? What is this? 
There's some secret shit here. What's this? What's it saying? What's it saying? I can't see it. Hang on. Uh, no, it's it's too it's too blurry for me to see. But why is that there? It's a it's a fucking picture of her room where she hangs herself. Is there something else I've noticed? I got a little more comfortable over here over the- What? No you didn't! No you didn't! Don't lie to me! Ah oh, no! This is a new text! No 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 no! Look! I didn't, I didn't notice this. This came up two minutes ago. I I I I I I I I I I hate this. I can't do anything, nothing, no matter how many times you play, it's all the same. It would be really, really easy to kill myself right now, but that would mean I don't get to talk to you anymore. All I want is for you to hate them. Why is that so hard? Oh, is this Yuri's thought? Is she gonna kill herself? No, this is Tyree! Sayuri, right? Nothing else new. Okay, Natsuki and Yuri are still there in the character folder. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. No, no, no! This is not usual! <laughs> this is not usual for you, bitch! Welcome back! Uh, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Okay, so the, t the talk, the long time Yuri wants with me, Monica just denied that. Can I save? I'm saving here. And Natsuki's gonna probably just appear like nothing happened. But she has no memory of what happened. Um, Yuri glanced over her shoulder, looking at the room. Natsuki's reading a manga at her desk. Oh, she's here already. I'm surprised Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me into the corner of the room. Oh no, she knows! She's gonna tell me! When Monica's not here! Oh yeah, Monica had this uh, thing before she got in. About yesterday, I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't I really I wasn't acting mentally sound Oh no, the, here, here's the murderer. Here's the murderer in her uh, 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 popping out, <laughs> coming out. Please don't think we were usually like this. Not just me, but Musk as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you're considering and apologize. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple of days, I could tell something was off yesterday. We were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. Also, hang on. Yeah, I hope I edit that out. <laughs> Just doing some Discord. Um. Yeah, I think Sayuri is haunting me right now. And uh, I think Monica is trying to prevent that. Is there some hidden here? I didn't make. It didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided there's no way you can be a bad person, except you're gonna murder someone. She's gonna murder him. And now that you're now pausing, I know you really didn't mean it. Uh, don't say those kind of things so frankly. They make me feel a little too happy. I'm really glad you're not you're not such an understanding person. I'm really glad you joined this club. Everything is a little bit more brighter with you around and... Ah! Uh, sorry, what am I saying right now? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Ah! Uh, no, I haven't. I was also kind of... I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man, Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. No, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. Yeah, her memory is gone! Monica did it! Monica erased the memory of the fighting! I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday, I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the other things I said. I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? 
Did he get, do something yesterday? Eh? Jeez. Whatever your mind, whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? But, but I'll accept your apology anyway, if it helps you feel better about it. Yeah, I knew it. Well, we all saw that coming. Monica erased Natsuki's memory. But she didn't, like, correct it with Yuri, so Yuri still has that memory. Besides, it's kinda nice to hear, since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> no, not at all. I don't hate you. Haha. <laughs> well, you're kinda weird, but I don't hate you either. Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey! Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Uh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I, I was not. <laughs> well, what took you so long, anyway? Uh, well, my last period was a study hall. To be honest, I just kind of lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must have not he heard it since I was practicing piano. I think that's like an excuse. She was doing something... Backgroundy stuff. I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Ah, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still, that must require a lot of dedication, so I'm still impressed. Ah, oh, well, thanks, Yuri. I swings your butt at her. You should play something for us sometime. Haha, <laughs> that's. Monica looks at me. Well, I'm working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once that I get a little better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down. Monica smiles sweetly. Um, don't fool me. I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. But we've only been here for two days! <laughs> I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, based of luck, thanks! So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I chose not to bring up anything that the three of us had talked about. Besides, Natsuki has already to run off into the closet. Um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club! Uh, I suppose so. I don't think I could say no to you after you gave that book to me. Well, I guess I need to make sure Natsuki isn't working for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she... She's fine! She's reading over there, see? Don't think so much. Don't think about her so much, but... But I am! She's my goal right now! <laughs> she's, she's used to being ignored. Like her dad ignores her? Come on, we're going over there. Whoa, what just happened? It just went black! Like, it didn't do the usual transitions and it just went black, like that. And the music stopped. Was there some hidden picture there? <sighs> well, um... Oh, the picture of Sairi is gone! It's back to normal. Look at the cover of the book. It's titled Portrait of Markov. Oh, now we actually get to see the book she gave me. Oh, I didn't pay attention. What? Oh, let's talk about the book she's reading. Wait, what? There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Uh oh! Uh oh! This isn't turning good. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. And the people trapped there has this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. Yuri, what kind of books are you reading that will influence you to kill someone? But the facility even gets worse, and they study the selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them too. Are you, are you guys are you guys seeing this? She Oh no. I don't oh no. The book I mean 
not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like she was going to be a nice story, so that dark came out of nowhere. Uh, are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Sky? No, it's not that. Oh no, she's gonna go really dark. I mean, I can definitely enjoy these kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot about forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It just it's just that this kind of story. Is that kind of is that kind of change challenges you to look at life from the strange new perspective? When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is so is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. Then suddenly I'm rambling, aren't I? Check the history. Shit. Not again. I'm sorry. No, you weren't like e Oh. Just like the text. Just like the text is e Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, well, I guess it's all right then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my whole body gets in a whole. Oh, it's not there! Oh no, I'm right! I'm right! I was right all along. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange, and please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literary club after all. Ah, uh, that's... well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? <laughs> Let's just have one earphone on. Hello, microphone check? Okay. I mean, you don't have to, but... What are you saying? I'm gonna do these edits... Uh, where all these... Two, one frame things that happens, I will pause them, so you can see them. Let me just get the book. I couldn't retrieve the book that I had... put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri. Ah, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little appreh apprehensive. That's... Sorry, it's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. All right. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand that Yuri means that reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. You're a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat com comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. So sorry! I was just betting What? I didn't get to read that. I was just betting What the fuck? Was just, the, what? She was just bathing the blood of my body or some shit? You don't even have to apologize. I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... Ah, here. This should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up to against Yuri. Then I hold my book more between the two of them. Ah. I suppose so. You relatively close their own copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold to the book. What's the point of the... Um, the poem writing? Like, I got most points with Natsuki, but I'm still going with the Yuri route right now. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Okay, this is new. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah, I do the same with my right arm, the right side of the book. That way I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after I flip to the other side. Uh, to her side. But in holding it like this, they are holding even closer than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as like if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh? To turn the page. 
Oh, uh, sorry. I think I got a little bit distracted for a second. Yeah, those huge boobs there. Um, nothing unusual with this picture. That's what Yuri's face again, and our ours meet. I don't know where I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? You don't. I don't mind being patient if it takes you a little bit longer. It's probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asked me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assumed that she finished the page before me, so I turned it on my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. Man, I already recorded 20 minutes? It didn't- it feels like 10 minutes. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she attaches it under her own thumb. Hey Yuri, this might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Huh? Uh-oh. Oh no. No, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking that the way she second guesses things she says and all that. Ah, uh, uh, that's what you were talking about. Oh no! <laughs> Sorry, I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? Never mind. We didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know why that came into my head. Oh, since it's a book, she likes about horror. You're here feeling alright, eh? You've always been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hand on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. Where's my mouse? Oh, there it is. I, I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Did something happen just now? Eh? I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything. Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no. Not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. No, nothing. <laughs> don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri does, just does this sometimes, and it's just nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't you start with sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Should we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I figured we'd just get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back in my bag. Yeah, let's, um... Oh, save. <laughs> I thought as you glitched out again. So I'm gonna show Natsuki first. She seems back to normal? Hmm. Well, it's not terrible, but it's pretty disappointing after your last one. Then again, if this one was as good as your last one, I would be completely pissed. Well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough, you're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club writes really different from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. Not that I care who you spend your time with. Honestly, I wanted to spend time with you. After all, I was taught... I was taught never to expect anything from anybody. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. You were totally waiting for me. Hang on. The lock updated. It's still... Still nothing unusual. Hmm. Still, should I look over my poem, you'll probably be able to learn something from it. Is that a YouTube link? Like, it looks like one of those links that the end of, like, YouTube. Like, when you get the long link. It looks like that. Bitch, what are you writing, Natsuki? Oh yeah, Monica scrambled your mind. <laughs> oh, it's just IGN! Hmm, there's probably something hidden. There's, pro there's honestly something, a uh, hidden message here. Oh yeah, it does look like a... Uh... Yeah, it probably needs to be like decoded. There's some, there's probably some method to decipher this. 
Well, what is it, Atsuki? Why didn't you come re with me today? I was waiting for you. I was waiting for you for a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward for to today. Why did you ruin it? Did you like Yuri more? Honestly, I like you more. I was trying to get to you. <laughs> I think you're better off not associating with her. Are you listening to me? I am. Yuri is a sick freak. That should be obvious by now. So just play with me instead, okay? You don't hate me, do you? You hate me? Do you want... Uh, you go home crying? Club is the only place I feel safe. Don't ruin that for me. Oh, she's bleeding! Don't ruin it, please. Just stop talking to Yuri. Play with me instead. It's all I have. Play with me. Play with me. Oh, ah! Can I stop here? Did anything happen? Dude, what? Did, did any new files happen? Okay, no new files. Is she dead now? She just broke her- she bled out her eyes and broke her neck. You have three minutes. Let's go, Monica. Hi again. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. Are we just ignoring this? I'll take that as long as not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Very soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Alright, great job. I was going, ooh, in my head while reading it. This is really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. So... It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That's why I always count when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes that kind of writing, right? Writing that full of imaginary and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean that, like, it's a bad thing though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's totally given up on people. She spends so time, so much time with her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. That's why she gets so happy when people treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to like being indulged like that. She must really starve for social interactions, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I'm back! Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. I wonder what would happen if I start with Monica. I just went with Natsuki later on. That thing with Natsuki really scared me. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad you took all the time you needed. Alright, thanks Monica. I suppose I give my own poem now. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me the colors. They won't. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing up. Expanding, piercing, red, green, blue. Yeah, there's some words missing here. Yeah, there's something missing here. Am I supposed to combine it with the uh, Natsuki's poem? Delete her. <gasps> Save me, the colors they won't. Bright and beautiful colors flashing up, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue. Coco Fanny of meaningless noise. The noise it won't stop. Violent granting us. Like playing on the chalkboard. On like playing a knife on a breathing ribcage. Endless pain of meaningless. Delete her. Wait, am I supposed to... Because I remember uh, her previous poem being something like this, like... Am I supposed to combine this? Like, like cover it so I can see some other words in it?
I'm just gonna end it here, guys. I reached 30 minutes. Um... Okay, bye.